couch Dogs need the lessons Hey there Lickin' Riffers, welcome back to yet another awesome guitar lesson here on Lickin' Riff in which I'm going to show you three rare and beautiful open tunings, alternate tunings. Okay, three magically beautiful tunings and I'm going to show you how to harness the magic. I'm going to show you how to create a wide array of sounds from the more normal major and minor sounds to more exotic sounds using these three tunings. I'm going to also explain why I'm using this guitar in this video, but first I want to mention that this lesson is sponsored by Meze Headphones. Okay, they were kind enough to send me the 99 Classics, which are just an amazing pair of headphones. Just take a look at this. This is wood. This is actual wood. And this is an award-winning pair of headphones. And they were so generous uh, by sending it to me to review and demo. And this is just, I, I can't describe how, uh, first of all, how convenient uh, and comfortable this pair of headphones um, is. And it, it also, it also sounds uh, incredible. I like to listen to a lot of jazz and the sound is so real and so crisp and, and the, the array of frequencies is just so beautifully rendered by these headphones. And um, so thank you very, very much, Meze Headphones. And I want to remind you that there's also a giveaway. They weren't just kind enough to send me the headphones. They were kind enough to send you. One of you will get their earphones, the 12 classics pair of earphones, which are also encased in wood. Okay, and just click the link below in the description or go watch, a, watch the giveaway video that I made um, about a month ago and uh, you'll get a chance to win this pair of earphones. So thank you, thank you, Meze, and um, let's start the lesson. Okay, so um, the tunings are C major, C minor, and C major 7. Okay, and they're very similar. There's just one note separating each of them. And I know that the open C tuning is actually less rare than C minor and C major 7, but we're going to use it differently than how most people use it. Okay, for C major, okay, you want to tune your guitar to C, G, C, G, okay, C and E. Okay, so the G and E strings remain the same and all the rest are becoming C and G. So again, C, G, C, G, C, and E. Okay, and okay. now um, I'm using this guitar because uh, you need a kind of a special setup in order to um, tune your guitar this slow. So your guitar might buzz a little bit, but it doesn't matter. This is a video aimed for your experimentation and to enrich your guitar vocabulary. So you can set up your guitar later on if you fall in love with these tunings. So let's start with the C major tuning. C, G, C, G, C, E. Okay, and while most people will use it to create a major sound, okay, using the second and fourth frets, okay, you just, okay, just, okay, just, okay, play with the second and fourth frets. Okay, but if you use the second fret on the first string, it's kind of a mode. Okay, so you want to use the first. Okay, you want to use the first fret on the um, on the first string. You want to use frets one and three instead of two and four. Now, if you use two and four, you get a mode. Okay, which kind of leads us into what I want to do. I want to change the sound. I don't want to just play the normal... Okay, the normal major sound, which you can get from any open tuning. I want to do this. Okay, I want to create an exotic 
sound. And this is easily done by just playing frets one and three throughout the C major tuning. Frets one and three, all the way. And if you want to create a hybrid scale, you can use frets two and three. This is where you start experimenting because if you use frets two and three, it doesn't sound as good as just using frets one and three, okay? Because if you use frets one and three, you get an exotic scale. Well, if you use uh, strings, um, if you use frets two and three, I'm so excited, I love these tunings and I have like a million ideas for this lesson and we're just getting started. So if you do this, okay, this is kind of bluesy. But if you do this, okay, one and three on the second string and two and three on the third, you get something different. So you need to experiment and see what you like. You see, I used the second and third frets at the end there to change the sound a little. Now, the, okay, you can use the fifth fret, but again, if you use the fourth fret on the first string, you get a mode. And you can use six, you can use eight, you can use nine, you can use eleven. Okay, and this way you get you get a mode. You mix the minor and major sounds to create a really, really interesting mode. And if you continue down, okay, and you mix your scales, okay, you use 7 and 8 instead of 8 and 9. Um, you use 5 and 4, 5 and 4 instead of 6 and 4. atmospheric sound which sounds nothing like C major okay this is not the C major that we're all used to okay you can also of course Travis Beck hey, you can use any picking pattern you want C major 7 because we have less options there but the options are no less beautiful so for C major 7 you tune the second string to B okay. B on the second string so you have C G C G B and E Okay, which means strings 1, 2, and 3 remain the same as the standard tuning, but then you have C, G, and C on the three bass strings. Okay, so... Okay, now this is the danger with these kind of tunings. It's really difficult to keep the guitar in tune. That's why you need a special setup. Okay, but we'll try. Forgive me if the guitar goes a little bit out of tune. Okay, you can of course bar. Okay, you can bar five, you can bar seven. But you can bar three, and then you get this. Okay, now you can use the previous scale 
but this might get too weird. Right? So you can use the normal C major scale. Okay, you can use one, three, and five on the second string. Okay, you can do the same. You can do the same with the barred chords. Okay, one fret above, two frets above on the first and second strings. And on. Okay, and on the rest of the strings, strings uh, three to six, you can use the major scale, zero, two, and four. sounds that you like. Okay, you can do 0, 1, 3, 5, 7, okay, and then 7 and 8, okay, 7, 8, 10, 12. If you want a slight mode, you can do 2 on the E string. Okay, instead of 1. And that way you get um, a, a slightly weird sound, but not too weird, okay? So now let's move on to C minor, open C minor. So tune the second string back to C, okay? And tune the E string, the first string, down to E flat, okay? E flat. Okay, now you can use One and three again on all th on all six strings. Okay, and this will okay the change on the E string changes everything. And there is this beautiful classical piece called Koyunbaba. Yep, Koyunbaba, um, and we can steal some licks from Koyunbaba. You can start with a three and one on the sixth string. Okay. Okay, you can hammer it on. Okay, you can do this. You can strum with five, with four, with seven, okay, with nine. You can okay, you can create already a mode. Okay, by changing these string, uh, these frets. Okay, just change one of them at a time and see if you like it. Instead of one, try two. Okay. Okay. One is actually the mode. Okay, you can do six instead of five. The lick that I'm talking about in Kuyunbaba, because this is not a classical guitar, it won't sound as good, but I will break it down for you so you can steal the lick and create your own uh, idea. So this is the idea. Okay? It's, um, it's supposed to be played very, very fast. Okay? To create triplet feel. Uh, to create... Okay, so... Okay? And you move this around and create... this and um, um, okay so this is the idea and then you have this um, no sorry they okay, sound like this so you can steal this okay um, the idea is a pull off from three and then from five on strings two and three and you play the D string, okay, which is now a C string, uh, the fourth uh, string, on um, between each pull off, right? And you repeat it, and you can do 
two and three. And do one and three. Okay, this is not in the piece, but you can do it. Okay, and then you have five and seven. And then you have, okay, it's five, eight, seven on the second string, and then eight on the third, all pulled off. Okay, so it's, okay, so you can do this, you can completely change the rhythm. And seven, 12 and eight on strings one and two. Again, with the D string in between. Okay. You have 10. Okay, you can use the scale. Okay. You can continue, you can try to create your own variations on this. Um, now the the important thing to remember is this is really easy to master because most of the strings are the same notes C and G so anything you play on one string you have at least another string you can play the exact same lick Duplicate your licks and then try the same lick on different strings. Okay, try the same string, the, the same fret. If it doesn't work, try different harmonies. See, reverse the frets, and suddenly you have something nice. I tried three and four. I tried three and three, but it worked with four and three on strings one and three. C major. Okay, so you see, works. You see the same fret number. Okay, you can change. Okay, you can find harmonies. Okay, and with C major seven. A challenge. Okay, so apparently one and two work, one and one work, and then the open strings. Thank you very, very much, Meze Headphones, for the beautiful, beautiful 99 Classics and for the 12 Classics, which one of you can win, actually. So I'll be happy and I'm looking forward to send uh, these earphones to one of you. Just click the link below in the description and um, leave a comment and um, I will choose the winner. Okay, so uh, thank you very much for watching. Go enjoy this, and um, I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye for now.